Okay, this will be a very basic video on the plot function on Mathematica. And I'm not going to do a great deal. This will be, uh, you'll only probably find this useful if you're kind of a beginner. And all I do, all I'm going to do is just plot a function and then talk about a few of the options. And I think if you can create something like this, you know, plot two curves, maybe label the axis as well, and then change the plot range things like that, then you probably know everything I'm going to talk about on this video. So this will be a very beginner level video. Okay, now the function is called plot, okay, and Mathematica is case sensitive, so it has to be with an uppercase P. Before I tell you what the function looks like, let's just take a quick look at the help file. So if you click on the function, hit F1, it brings this window up. And the Mathematica help file is, in general, very, very good. It not only tells you what the function, uh, what the plot function should look like, uh, the syntax for it. It gives you the syntax here, two different things. And then it gives you lots of examples as well. Okay, and you can usually learn quite a lot just by studying these examples. And <coughs> let's look at the syntax. Okay, so it says plot, it says plot open a square bracket so let's do that open a square bracket then it says f and then comma x x min to x max and it tells you here it generates a plot of f as a function of x from x min to x max okay so what that means is suppose i want to plot the graph y equals x squared so the function is x squared so i have y is equal to x squared comma then open one of the braces, one of these curly brackets, given whatever your variable is. So here my variable is equal to x, so I say x, and then the minimum and the maximum value. So let's say I want to plot it from minus 4 to plus 4. And I'll just make that slightly bigger, make sure it's readable. Okay, close that curly bracket, close that square bracket. So this bracket here closes this one here. And this one here closes the first bracket I opened here. Okay, And then to run it, you press Shift and Enter, or the Enter on your numeric pad. And then it plots that function. So it's a plot of x squared from minus 4 up to plus 4. Okay, so that was just a very basic thing. I plotted one function here. If you look at the second part, it says a different syntax. It says plot several functions of f. Suppose I want to plot this as well as one or two or two or more functions. What you can do is, so suppose I want to plot, uh, let's say, the function y equals, um, okay, suppose I want to plot y equals x squared and y equals, let's say, x plus 2 on the same graph. These are the two functions that I want to plot where you've got your first function. Put that inside a curly bracket like this, inside braces. So the first function is x squared, then you say comma x plus 2. Okay, and then run that and it plots the the function in blue is the quadratic graph y equals x squared and the x plus 2 is the straight line. Okay, and if you want you can add more functions here. I could say sin x for example and that will add that to that graph. Okay, but let's just stick to these two, x squared and x. And again, the way it works is, you say plot, and inside this first braces here is your x squared and x plus 2. They are the two functions I want to plot. And then a comma again, and then this one here is the range of x values. Now, on the help file, if you come further down, there's a little thing here that says options. And these are all the options, uh, and I think there's more than this, but these are the options you can attach to this plot function here. Let's start with something very basic. Let's look at axis. It says, if you want to draw no axis, okay, so the way the options work is, you've got the plot function. This and this are compulsory. They have to be there. That's like a minimum requirement. So at least one function, which let's say is x squared, and the range of x values. If you want to add more options to it, you, once you put in the range, so these two are your first two, let's call them parameters, 
and you say comma so the next my next option is going to be this access I could say access okay and to get this little sign here to get that arrow you say hyphen and then the greater than sign oh it should be access not access hyphen and greater than sign when you hit equals it changes to an arrow and if I say false then it gets rid of the x and y axis it doesn't plot them if I want to plot one but not the other put that inside braces as well so let's say I want to plot the x-axis but not the y-axis so the first part is true if I plot the x-axis and there you go it says x and y okay so there are lots of functions here you can just have a look through them a few of the ones that I find useful are one that says access origin okay so and I think I'll take a different graph here okay so let's get rid of all this okay so on the plot function suppose I want to plot y equals x squared and I only want to plot it from 4 to 8 so I want to say x from 4 to 8 okay so this is the minimum stuff that you need your function and the range of x shift enter and it plots something like this now obviously it has changed where the zero of where the axis cross each other so obviously this point here is not zero x value is 4 and the y value is 20 okay so uh, sometimes it can seem a bit misleading as soon as you look at it it looks like the, the y values are negative as well so you can say comma plot range Oh, sorry plot origin and sorry access origin plot range is a different option maybe I'll talk about that later okay so access origin and then you go okay and if you look at this syntax here it says access origin then arrow just dash and greater than sign and I want the access origin to be at let's say 0 comma 0 0 comma 0 and shift and enter now we can see the graph is completely above the y-axis and the crossing point of the two axes are actually 0 and 0 okay another useful function is the plot range okay so maybe I'll just quickly show that as well okay so let's just take a new graph okay so get rid of all of this okay so let's say we want to plot y equals x squared okay from x equals let's say minus 3 up to plus 3 okay now if we plot this what you see is it plots the graph from minus 3 to plus 3 the minimum y value is 0 okay so it only plots up to that range but suppose I want the function to show me a negative 2 as well so I want the y axis to be drawn just a little bit more so I could say comma plot range Okay, and let's just look at what the help file is on that. And okay, from the examples, I think this part is the, probably the more useful one. Okay, so this bit here it says plot range. Okay, an arrow, so dash greater than sign. And the way this bit works is the first part here, these are the range of x values, and the second bit here is the range of y values okay so let's say plot range so double braces then the range of x that's from minus 3 to 3 and then the y values let's say although the minimum is 0 I want to plot it from minus 2 up to about let's say up to plus 9 because 3 squared is 9 okay and close that as well okay so now it shows me it although the actual plot is from a minimum value of y equals 0 it still draws the axis up to minus 2 and this can be quite useful when we combine it with things like the manipulate function where you want the range to be the same and then you can change the graph around but I'll probably do that on a different video okay and again there are lots of different options okay so I haven't shown you in fact what was on here how to get the labels for example how to name the graph here and you can also change the color of the axis the thickness of the lines and things like that so all of that is shown here if you look at options here there are lots of different things this epilogue is another very useful one 
because if you want to highlight a particular point then you can draw one point on somewhere on the graph and it's quite a lot of different stuff here filling is another good one if you want to shade areas between graphs maybe I'll make a video on that later